The Vancouver Canucks have decided to go local with yet another pick instead of going back over to Patrick Alvin's hometown in Sweden. Okay, not hometown, but home country with Le Karamaki and Elias Pettersson. They're going into their backyard and taking somebody who is scheduled to play for the Chilliwack Chiefs in the BCHL. It is Damon Gardner. Now, this is a really interesting pick, because these are one of these guys that is really going to take a long time to develop, and I don't say that as a slight to him, I say that because of the path that he is on. Damon Gardner, if you take a look at ignoring all the numbers and the projection and everything, he went from the USHL to the United States Minnesota Hockey School program over to the BCHL, and then he'll be making his way over to the NCAA in 2023-2024. He'll be a freshman in that season. So the Vancouver Canucks are going to have a guy in their system now that they took at the, what is it, 112th overall position in the fourth round that they're going to hold the rights onto for such a long time, presumably until 2024, let's say until the guy finishes up his college career, for example. So 2024, 2025, 2026, maybe even 2027, if he uses up the full four years, this is a very long-term project here that the Vancouver Canucks have in their fourth-round pick, Damon Gardner, and he's a guy that I definitely do think is worth the pickup. He was ranked 100 and, or excuse me, he was ranked 54th by Elite Prospects, 127th by Future Considerations, 145th by McKean's, and 216th by Recruit, but of course, it is that big 54 on EP that really stands out the most. He was taken, though, 112th overall by Vancouver, and he boasted up a very good stat line of 83 points in 30 games played in the Minnesota high school level. Now, we'll see how exactly he is able to translate to Junior A hockey in Chilliwack by the time this season rolls around, but the NCAA is where I think he'll be doing the most of his developing as, you know, BCHL Junior A, it's good, but the guy's going to be 18, 19 years old for the season, so you kind of expect him to do extraordinarily well. This also is something that was posted on the Twitter. I normally don't post these, but because Daniel G, who actually contributes to the Elite Prospects Draft Guide, posted this himself, I definitely do feel a lot more comfortable just showing this off on the channel here. Damon Gardner, selected 112 by the Canucks, is a 6'4 centerman. By the way, I did not say that in the video. Yeah, he's 6'4", 201 pounds as a left-handed center, 18 years old, so that's really great to see. He is incredibly focused, or excuse me, inside focused. He is a talented passer and puck protector. His edge work is the major question mark, though, although he did push great results in limited minutes in USHL action. Daniel G., who is a Canucks fan as well, loves this pick. You can also see some of the scouting report details and the statistics for the analytics and all that. He's got a very good 85 percentile here via Mitch Brown's prospect tracking tool, and he is a pretty good player driving middle lanes, exploiting his frame advantages to protect against inside defenders, and he has handling, shooting, and passing skills that all blend into a relatively sophisticated offensive package. So, when it comes to this player, as we said, the Canucks are going to have his rights for a long time, and I think ultimately it's going to boil down to how he develops in the BCHL eventually to the NCAA, but at the end of the day, you can go worse with a fourth round pick, especially for a guy that elite prospects themselves ranked as a second rounder. So, talk in the comments all your thoughts about Damon Gardner, a very productive high school hockey player that is going over to the Chilliwack Chiefs. I hope you enjoyed this video. And bye.